All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to factor expressions in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c using a method called the slip and slide method. Now, I do have another video showing you how to factor expressions in this same form um, by grouping, but I'm just going to show you another method or another way to solve or to factor expressions in this form right here. All right, so the slip and slide method, I have the steps here. Step one, we want to slide A to the end of the trinomial and multiply by C. We want to factor, divide both factors by the values that we slip or the value that we slip over in step one. And then reduce the fractions and slide any denominator up to the variable. The variable. Seems like a lot of steps. It seems a little complicated, but I think once I actually work out the problem or factor the problem, you'll get it a lot more easily. All right. So... My first step, slide A over to the end and multiply by C. I want to slide 2 over and multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So I'm left with x squared plus 5x plus 6. So I slid it over. Next, I want to factor. So remember to factor expressions that have a coefficient of 1 here. We just want to find two factors of C that have a sum of B. So two factors of C that have a sum of B are 2 and 3. Because when I multiply 2 times 3, I get 6. But when I add 2 and 3, I get 5. All right. So I've done step 2. Now I want to divide both factors by the value that I slipped over from step 1. So I slipped over the 2. So these are my factors. I'm going to divide both factors by the 2. All right. Now I want to reduce. So I'm going to reduce these fractions and slide any denominator up to the variable. So once I reduce 2 over 2, that's just 1, so I'm, I don't have a denominator. But here, 3 over 2, I can't reduce that anymore, so I want to slide my denominator up to my variable. So that leaves me with 2x. And then I just bring down my numerator and I have factored this expression. All right. So how can we check it? Of course, we can just multiply it back through to see if we end up with the same um, expression here. So I'm just going to use a distributive property to multiply. So x times 2, 2x is 2x squared. x times 3, 3x. 1 times 2x, 2x, 1 times 3 is 3. All right, I have two terms in the middle that are like terms. I can combine them. 3x plus 2x is 5x, and I bring down my 3. And then well, I see here that I have the same expression that I, I had in the beginning, so that shows that I factored it correctly. All right, let's try this one. You want to slide 5 over to 6 and multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. So that's m squared minus 17m uh, plus 30. All right. Factor. Factors of 30 that have a sum of 17 are negative 15 and, neg and negative 2. And I'm putting x and it should be an m. m minus 2. All right, when I multiply, I get 30, but when I add them, I get negative 17. All right, divide both factors by what I slipped over from step one. I slipped over the five, so I want to divide both factors by five, just like I slipped over or divided both of these by two. Reduce, 15 over five reduces to three. Two-fifths, I cannot reduce it anymore, so I just slide it up to m minus 2. And I have factored this expression. All right, so let's factor these two problems. I, I do want to show you these two because in these particular problems, I'm actually going to have to reduce my fractions before I slide my denominator up to the variable. So I just want to show you these two right here. All right, same steps. Slide A over to C and multiply. So that would be Y squared minus 5Y 
minus 24 because 6 times negative 4 is negative 24 factor. So factors of negative 24 that have a sum of negative 5 are um, negative 8 and positive 3. So that's going to be y minus 8 and y plus 3. Because when I multiply, I get negative 24. But when I add, I get negative 5. Make sure you check your signs as you're um, factoring. Because if you were to put a positive 8 here and a negative 3, when you add them, you get a um, positive 5. So you have to use the correct sign. All right. Next, I want to divide both fractions by my value that I slipped over from um, step 1. So I'm going to divide both of my factors here by 6. Now I have to reduce. 8 over 6 reduces to um, 4 thirds. 3 over 6 reduces to 1 half. Now I get to slide my denominator up to the variable. So I'm going to slide the 3 up. I'm left with 3y minus 4. Bring down my um, numerator. I'm going to slide the 2 up. 2y plus 1. All right, so I have factored this expression. Now let's try one more. All right, slide 12 over to negative 5 and multiply. So that's c squared plus 11c minus 60. All right, factor. Factors of negative 60 that have a sum of 11 are positive 15 and negative 4. All right. Dividing by what I uh, slid from step one, dividing by 12, reducing. Five, 15 over 12 reduces to 5 fourths. 4 over 12 reduces to 1 third. Sliding that 4 up, I get 4C plus 5. Sliding the 3 up, I get 3C minus 1. All right, and so I have factored these two expressions as well, all right? All right, so these last two problems I actually want you to try on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and try to factor these two problems on your own. All right, so you should have gotten x, plus, x minus five times 4x plus one, or your binomials could be reversed. And 2k plus 1 times 3k plus 2. So I hope you got them correct. If not, maybe pause the video and analyze my work a little bit here. All right. So um, we've reached the end of our lesson. And I want to thank you for learning with me.